Well, good morning. It is Sunday, November 26th. And as you can see, we're just starting to get some snow. I think they're talking for maybe about an inch today. Uh, what am I doing today? Uh, just want to take a couple of shots with uh, this gate just to make sure it's still on. It's been a while since I've shot it. So I had to go get my hunting clothes and put those on because, yes, it does shoot differently when I'm wearing hunting clothes and when I'm not. All right, my butt's going to get wet. Let's see if we can clear that off. Doesn't feel like too terribly cold. <coughs> yes, I still have a bit of a cough. All right, this is like the first shot, and with this bow, probably in about, I don't know, five or six days. Let's see what she does here. All right, shot felt good. Let's see if it was good. Oh yeah, look at that. Right in there. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I am ready to start up the hunting again. We'll take one more just to be sure that wasn't a fluke, but I'm sure. So tomorrow starts the muzzleloader season. Um, I could still hunt it with my bow. I just have to wear a blaze orange vest or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. Do a little hunting with the uh, bow starting tomorrow. Let's go for the raccoon. Well, I hit him. Let's see if I hit him good. Ah, just perfect. Right where I was aiming. <laughs> oh. So that's really all I'm going to shoot today. You can see, look at that, that was perfect. That's exactly where I was aiming on that little bugger. I'm sure that went right through, yeah, into my bag target. So here is my upcoming plans. And this morning I just watched a video and my buddy from Australia, the uh, backyard archer, <laughs> kind of stole my thunder but this coming year I am going to switch everything up with the recurves. I am a reasonably okay archer shooting those uh, using the gap method, three under gap method. Um, I can usually hit, I'd say nine times out of ten I can hit within an inch or two of where I want to hit. Uh, so <coughs> I don't really have a a solid reason for doing this but starting as soon as this hunting season's over and I get back into shooting the recurves I'm gonna try to switch it all up and go to purely instinctive I want to just have one fluid motion get all the way back to my anchor point and just let go I want to be staring at the target I'm not gonna be using a reference I'm gonna be using split finger so I'm changing pretty much everything up so of course, I'll be starting off like close, like maybe eight, 10 yards away. I'm just gonna do reps until I feel comfortable there and then I'll just slowly move back, move back, and try to get my brain calibrated into just looking at something <coughs> and being able to draw my bow back. And as soon as I hit the anchor point, just release and have it hit where I want it to go. That is my goals for 2024. It's probably gonna be a shit show especially in the beginning, because I've always just been a meticulous 
uh, drawback, anchor, hold, uh, with the recurves, use the tip of the arrow, you know, gap shooting. Uh, with the compounds, of course, they use sights and stuff. Uh, I am not going to go instinctive with um, the Oneida. That will still be um, gap shooting, just because I'm so good with the Oneida with the gap shooting. Um, I just, you know, want to switch things up with the recurves and see if I can get it going. You know, like my buddy Bo out there in Kansas, you know who you know where. Uh, it's not going to be snap shooting. It's going to be more, I'm going to, I want to hit my anchor point. So it's not going to be snap shooting, you know, releasing before I even get back to my face or whatever. I want, as soon as my finger touches the corner of my mouth, <coughs> excuse me, as soon as my finger touches the corner of my mouth, then that's when I want to release. So I still want to have a good solid anchor point. But I want it to be a fluid motion and not be holding. I want to be looking at my target, get back to my anchor point, and release right away. So we'll see how this goes. So if you're interested, you can follow along. I'll try to film as much of that painful process as I can. I'm sure I'll be putting quite a few arrows into the garage in the beginning, which will be a bummer, but whatever. So hope you're all doing well. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. My beloved Packers kicked the lion's asses, which was nice. Um, it was a great holiday weekend. If I could just get rid of this cough, life would be great. So catch you all in the woods. Starting tomorrow, I'll be hunting out there, and I will try to do some videoing. Uh, this time of the year, because the gun season just got over, it's tough to see the deer. So videos might be a little sparse in the beginning until they get back to their normal routes and behaviors. But uh We'll see. I've got high holes for the rest of this year as far as hunting goes. I still got to get a doe for the farmer, and I'd also like to get a big buck. So, all right. Catch you all in the woods. Thanks. Bye.